I smell copper tongue. That means that Captain Linda Greenlaw, a lady vain about her nose, is in my wheelhouse. Make that Hawaiian tropic. Well, at least I got the nose right. <laughs> Your guys are loading bait and groceries. You doing a turnaround? No rest for the weary. Well, there you go. Flaunting your work ethic. I don't have a work ethic, I just have work. I want to catch up to you. I'd love to watch you study charts. Why? Because you know them all by heart. What's so special about today that you're blowing smoke up my ass? Thought I'd make the pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, the thing is, Captain, I'm looking for a guy to come home to Maine with me, buy a house, and raise a few kids. And what does that guy and you do after? Oh. Now, come on, look. The thing is, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm fit to do this. I just don't see the romance in it. But you got it, Captain Greenlaw. You do, believe me. I see them come and go. The day I laid eyes on you, I said to myself, she's going to be a good one. You can't be good unless you love it. The fog's just lifting. Throw off your bow line, throw off your stern. You head out the South Channel, past Rocky Neck, Ten Pound Island, past Niles Pond, where I skated as a kid. You blow your air horn and you throw a wave to the lighthouse keeper's kid on Thatcher Island. And the birds show up. Black backs and herring gulls, big dump ducks. The sun hits you, head north, open up to 12. Steaming now. The guys are busy. You're in charge. You know what? You're a goddamn sword, little captain. Is there anything better in the world? 